Hey everyone, welcome back to the watch mission. Uh, today we have a, a watch that was sent to me from AliExpress. So uh, I know everyone has their opinions about uh, AliExpress, some of the stuff that's on there, the quality of it, what's good, what's not good. Um, I, I have found a few good things on there and I found some absolute junk on there too. So uh, they went ahead and sent uh, this one to me uh, to go ahead and wear for a while and review and, and see what I thought. I do not have to send it back, um, but that's not gonna change anything here for me at all. This watch is called the Luoven. It is an automatic. It's a 42 millimeter watch. It's undecorated um, at, the, at the back here. You know, when it, when it comes to watches like these, I, I know they want to try to make it look expensive. Um, I think what they should do with watches like this, if they're not going to decorate the movement at all, then just go ahead and put a solid case back on there. There's no harm in that, right? Now, I will say that this movement, uh, I'm, it's questionable. I have no idea what it is, but if you can hear it, I don't know if you can yet. It is by far the noisiest movement um, that I have ever heard. So I'm going to see if I can solve for that here in another way or two, but um, I'll let you know what I come up with on that one once I do it. So this one has some obvious um, homage references. Uh, it, you know, if you think about the German watches, uh, you think about um, either either Nomos and, and for this case, very specifically, you think about the Johans, right? So the uh, the Max Bill, uh, it, it is almost identical to it. So both in the way um, that the dial is um, formatted, so. You know, it's got two sub dials, top and bottom. They don't have the same function as what the Max Bill does. It's, it's going to be a little bit different. In fact, this top dial up here, it took me a while to kind of figure out what that was. I thought that was just going to be a, a second, um, you know, it has a 24 hour dial here and then, you know, it goes to 12. So I thought, well, maybe it can give me a, a third uh, time zone or even a second time zone if this is just 24 hours to where I'm at here today. But it's not. This is all month based. So the the top button um, just goes, you know, kind of one. Yeah, it kind of does halves, but it just goes one at a time. Not the most accurate by any means whatsoever. But we're in December now, almost in January. So I'll push it over there. It might even be too far. I can't really see right now. But th that's an odd dial to have if you don't know what month you're in then you know you might have some other issues there but when it comes to the actual design um i, I think they did a really good job um, it, it really looks like a great watch on it looks almost identical uh, to that johann's uh, max bill and you know even all the way down to the dial how it curves back on to itself you know kind of into the movement um, it, it's going to be kind of hard to see, as well as a, a very, you know, uh, kind of top heavy, if you will, uh, uh, crystal there. I don't think that's sapphire by any means. It, I'll have to double check on that, but I do not think that it is sapphire. The only thing that this doesn't do, the second hand does not wrap down with the dial itself. So that's one thing I think they missed if they were really going for that Johann's um, uh, the kind of style, the, 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 the Bauhaus element that, that, that they have. So that's a little bit of a miss there, but what isn't a miss was the, is the price. You know, I, I can, I, I didn't buy this. I had no idea that really that it was coming. Um, but when I looked online right now, these are going for like $95 for 95 bucks. That, that, that is a, a pretty good deal. Um, I, I, just for an everyday watch, you know, to, to throw on there, to not worry about, you know, I, I think you could certainly do a lot worse. This comes, uh, you know, it came kind of in a, a pretty decent box as well. I saw another video uh, by Honest Watch Channel, or sorry, Honest Watch Review. Uh, I can put a link down to his video below as well. Uh, if you haven't subscribed to him, you know, you definitely should if you're if you're always looking for that kind of under thousand dollar range, he's got a ton of great videos on there. Um, but when you when you go to that channel and you look, 
this box uh, for the uh, the woven is the exact same box as um, the the watch called uh, uh, Lobini uh, that he reviewed, and that one is really quite a, a bargain for what you're going to get. And and I'm going to ask uh, AliExpress to try to send me one of those because it actually has um, a micro rotor and a really really good uh, really good decorated movement as well. So I was really impressed with that but those were like two the uh, 227 dollars uh, for those watches and they look phenomenal um so uh, you know i think they liked them on the other channel but the point is it came with the exact same design box so you know obviously these are made in the same factory they they do the um you know the the, the same uh, case the same movements probably except for that uh, that micro rotor that we have there as well so what am I going to do with this one? So uh, since it was kind of free to me and since that movement is so noisy, I'm going to probably ruin it just like I did uh, my, my glycine here. But I'm going to give it a shot. So I am going to um, take this watch and do the oil-filled treatment with it. Um, it says it's waterproof to like five bars. So, you know, it, and it's also not a screw down. It's a screw on maybe I have those terminologies right, uh, case back. So am I going to get oil leakage? It's quite possible. But so far, you know, I like this one a lot. And I'm also going to, you know, re repair the um, the glycine as well just to uh, get it kind of running again. But I, I love the oil look. I think it's going to be really cool. And when it comes to, um, you know, this this uh, crystal, you know, how how deep it is, if this works out, it's gonna look really cool. So it's worth a shot. I'm gonna test it out here and, and let you know what I find. Oh, also I didn't do a, a watch check here at the beginning, so I'm wearing the uh, Marlow, and uh, I will review this one here uh, probably in the next day or two. This is a, a, a phenomenal piece. I'll just kind of flash the, the movement here at you as well. Um, so that's a see-through case back um, with the hand wind, um, decorated movement and that is really to me a work of art for the price that you're getting there they they did a great job with this watch okay that is all for now guys thank you